also where we do our bus call and load up before we go. Uh, this weekend we're heading out, got some cool shows going on, excited to have the camera with us. Uh, we're going to be at Maggie Valley, North Carolina tomorrow with the Thunder and the Smokies motorcycle rally, which for me is always a, a, a lot of fun because as much as I love music, I love riding the bikes and just love the whole atmosphere of those uh, types of events. real cool show coming up the next day, Saturday. We're going over to uh, Clarksville, Tennessee, right outside where uh, Fort Campbell is. And it's going to actually be the official homecoming party for the 101st Airborne. So anytime we get to perform for the troops, is always special, but especially for this, welcome back home. And we're going to be there with Colin Ray this weekend. So real excited about this, but uh, yeah, we just, just hooked up with this brand new rehearsal facility here in Nashville, backstage. It's awesome. We. Uh, it's just nice. We got everything we need right here. We can do full, uh, full stage rehearsals. Uh, and it's nice having having the bus call and having a lot of gear here. Very convenient these days. Ready to get on the bus? You know, another really cool thing about this weekend is our. Uh, I'm making my Grand Ole Opry debut here next week, so this will be our last little trip on the road before coming back to Nashville and doing that. So everybody, all the guys, are real excited about that. It's actually going to be in George Jones' 80th birthday party there. In Dallas, so. Tell you what, uh, it's going to be an all-star lineup. I kind of got to pinch myself and wonder why the hell I'm there, but uh, I'll take it. I'm getting baptized by fire. Not only is it the Opry debut, but also on with that lineup and being there for our main man George Jones. But uh, but I, you know, I wanted this CD to just tell the story, the good, bad, and ugly of being on the road. There's a lot of, you know, the, the CD is a, is a whole lot of me and who I am. You know, it resulted from me losing a record deal, you know, what I thought was a, a rock bottom time. I just lost a record deal. My wife and I just had our first kid. And I'm sitting around moaning the blues around that a few weeks. And then my producer, Kent Wells, who, uh, man, he's been with me through thick and thin and has done so much for me. And, you know, even when when other people would, you know, I, I don't want to say turn their back. Or no, Kent off, Wells. Get off the train, but he, he's always been there. Yeah, he's a good friend of yours. From the, from the very get-go, man. It's hard to make it. To me. He's the one that came up and said, man, hey, you don't have anybody breathing down your neck. No label telling you what to do. He said, just let's make the record you always wanted to make since you came to Nashville. Mm -hmm. And it was a, just a really, you know, free feeling uh, being in the studio and being mm -hmm. able to do that. So we go to the Logan's Roadhouse, which is down there in Franklin, Tennessee. And it's, it's just a couple miles away from the Sound Kitchen Studios where we recorded the album. And uh, me, Kent, my manager Craig, we all went and, and went there with the sole purpose to talk about who knew who, how we could get this song in George Jones' hands, see what he thought about it. Never in a million years I think he had seen one. I just wanted him to hear it. So we go there, have this conversation, powwow about it, and we get up and leave. And as we're leaving the steakhouse, lo and behold, two booths over from us is George and Nancy no sitting there eating lunch. And, uh, and you know, it just it just felt like one of those divine moments man like you're really getting getting help from the big man upstairs and uh and we didn't even have a copy of the cd with us we had actually jumped in the car i didn't want to first off i didn't want to i didn't want to germ them you know and go up and interrupt their lunch right right and kent said you know what uh, he said i know you don't don't want to do that but even if it made him mad as soon as he hears that song he's gonna be flattered right? george it's Jones. A tribute for him. So that's cool we hop in the car run a few red lights uh get back to the sound kitchen burn a copy of the disc run another couple red lights coming back and hoping they're still there and, and they were and I, I went up to him and just told him you know what a, what a huge influence he was on my career that I was a, had a new album out and the first thing was that song and I'd love for him to hear it <laughs> and, um, and he said he would listen to it and they were I think we're going on their way to Canada said it'd be about three weeks before they got back in town and it was almost three weeks to the day they called us back and said not only did he really love the song enjoy he said he'd like to sing on it then we do the video which i'm just tickled to death uh, automatic who is a production company same folks that own 12th and porter club downtown nashville there uh, approached me and said they'd like to do the the video daniel schlesinger ryan lassen directed it and uh Man, they just they really captured what the song was all about and we put a really really cool video together mm -hmm. it's, it's now on uh, uh, the country network gac cmt pure some cool. rotation and all three networks 
get, you get a lot of airplay. Correct. It is. It is, man. And that video is just opening a lot of doors. Mm -hmm. Just so, mm -hmm. you know, we and, and we as a really fortunate this song too to have a lot of support from radio. Gospel uh, and Jones was the most fun independent song on the Music Road chart uh, so far in 2011. So anyway, and next week's going to be a, a real dream come true for me. It's one of those bucket list things. Uh, I'm be making my grand old opera debut September 13th. Are you serious? Yeah. Bro, that is just awesome, man. Yeah, I'm very excited about that. And and once again, that's that's one of those things that, that uh, you know, Nashville has a saying, it all starts with a song. That song, Gospel According to Jones, open that up. That's going to be George's 80th birthday bash there at the Opry that night. So not only am I getting the debut the opera. I actually got a personal invite from George mm -hmm. and Nancy to, to be there and be part of the lineup that night. And it's, uh, it's, it's going to be a humbling experience, man. Everybody there is uh, it's, it's a, it's a who's who of country music. I think uh, every member other than, I think myself and Jamie Johnson are the only two people that aren't uh, Opry members already. Now who else so, performing that night? I think Alan Jackson, Oak Ridge Boys, uh, Montgomery Gentry, Joe Diffie, Pam Tillis, uh, Jamie Johnson, myself, and, and there may be some others coming on, on too. But uh, but it, you know it's going to be a big night. I mean George is you know, there's only one George Jones, and, and he's got such a rich history in country music. And obviously the Opry has such a rich history. So mm -hmm. to be part of that and be there for my first time there, I'm definitely going to be. Uh, if, if that's the mother church of country music, I'm going to be baptized by fire. <laughs> Wait a minute, is this a trap? <laughs> <laughs> 